Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of TMI's 365. Today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Defender for Identity Sensor in an on-premise Active Directory environment, walking through the steps of that particular executable, and then showing you what it looks like from a reporting standpoint within the Cloud App Security Center. So with that, let's go ahead and pop into the demo experience. If this is your first time setting up Defender for Identity, you'll be asked to create your own instance here. And as long as you're a global administrator, you'll be able to see that. From there, we're going to go ahead and set up our connection with our on-premise Active Directory environment. You'll want to use a username here that has administrative rights to the domain controller. You'll enter a password of that user, and then you'll enter the domain of the user there as well too. And I'm going to choose single label domain and click on save. This will load up and I'll click into the download sensor setup, which will give me the executable file. I'm here on my actual domain controller already, and this is where you're actually gonna to want to install this particular executable. So once that's done, I'll click on this and I can click into the exe file here. And I wanted to show you, if you click on run here, you're actually gonna run into a problem. When this actually loads up, it'll give you an error message that you'll see here because it can't see this particular file. So what you wanna do here is click on extract all and then go to the extract section here. And from there, then you'll double click on the executable again here. And this will actually load up the wizard that you'll wanna walk through. On this page, you can select your language and you'll select your sensor type. From there, you can go ahead and grab your access key that you have here. Don't click on regenerate. I'm just showing this as an example. You don't want to regenerate a new one. You just want to grab that key there and paste it in and then click on install. This will finalize and give you a success message here. And that's everything. So you'll see here the service status will change into a running state and the health We'll update as well too with a little bit of propagation time. Back within the Defender for Identity portal, they're going to push you into the Cloud App Security portal. This is the new version of which they're reporting all this information. And it ties uniquely because then you can manage the on-prem identity alerts along with your cloud identities that you may have here across Microsoft's cloud or third-party cloud as well too. So whenever this happens, you can go into the cloud discovery dashboard here and you'll immediately start to see actually some of the users that are reporting from on-prem as well as the devices that you've seen and connected as well too that may be joined to the domain. So the telemetry here is reporting right away. The one thing though, if this is your first setup with the environment for Defender for Identity, it does go through this two week period in which it's just kind of learning user telemetry and behavioral analytics to really identify where anomalies might be occurring. So if you don't see any alerts right away or anything like that, just be aware that it's doing kind of more of a ingestion period. You will be able to see under the uh, investigation section, the identity security posture recommendations after about 24 hours of the sensor being installed. In some cases it might be quicker, but in other cases it might take about 24 hours to propagate. That's everything I wanted to show for you guys in this video on setting up and installing the identity sensor for Microsoft Defender for Identity. Next lesson, I will be going through and actually tapping into the alerts that you can see once this is actually active within your environment and how you investigate those within Cloud App Security and the Microsoft Defender portal. Thanks guys, have a great day.